Hello, Internet, and welcome back to some more Sidereal Midnight Plays XCOM 2. Last time, we escorted a VIP out of somewhere in Russia and had one of the more interesting deaths I've ever seen in XCOM. Yeah, that was our dear old buddy Meat Shield who died by essentially falling through a roof. I mean, he didn't die immediately at that point, but that's what killed him. It's an interesting environmental physics moment. I hope that there are more like it. Though, I'd rather that my enemies fall through the roof than I do. Anyway, we're also working towards um, finding out about this black site that Optimus Prime told us about. As well as researching a few things and getting a supply drop. I assume that just means we're getting more... Uh, double S over here or whatever that symbol is but we'll see for now oh we have a new thing to investigate after our success members of the resistance in new arctic have brought us reports of activity and they want to investigate sure why not avenger plotting new course i mean we have a ton of intel anyway so might as well i'm still not sure what intel does it does something, but I could not, for the life of me, tell you what it does. Oh well, let's try and get more supplies. Yeah, this is the way that time progresses in this game. Will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Sweet, we got modular weapons. So what does that do? New research available: magnetic weapons. Up, yeah, and weapon upgrades are available. But what? Okay, it's allowed us to reverse engineer the system for our own use. Any weapon upgrades found in the field can now be attached directly to our soldiers' weapons to provide tactical bonuses. Sweet! That, I'm assuming, means more loot. I love more loot. Now, we can do these autopsies, but I want to get started on the actual, like, objectives. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Oh yeah, and we also got our first scientist, who was the VIP we rescued. But... I'm not sure if this game does, like, the, uh, the XCOM enemy unknown thing, where the enemy scales in difficulty regardless of how fast you progress. Like, even if you haven't gotten to the very first plot mission, they'll still keep scaling up. I'm going to assume time is of the essence until something tells me otherwise. Oh, sweet, we got an engineer. After the smoke began to rise from a nearby landmark, we used our long-range scanners to probe the site. With no immediate indication of hostile activity, we conducted an aerial sweep and found an engineer living in a small settlement nearby who was trying to signal XCOM. Sweet. Setting course for the Arctic. Ruben Medina. So now we can fly back to um, Resistance HQ. And let's go back out, because I'm guessing that engineer can do something for us. Like, clear this alien debris? Okay, we, we can only clear these particular... Oh, probably because they're the only ones touching this. So let's clear... I feel like the exposed power coils are where we set up our power. And we're getting close to the point where we need more power. I do my best to get the new recruits ready for what they're going up against, but having the commander back is a bigger confidence boost than any speech. Thanks, Central. And we get we get supplies for that. In fact, we get the most supplies for this, so let's do it. All right, let's have uh, Ruben Medina here. Ruben? I'm not sure what that uh that apostrophe over the E means. Oh well, let's excavate. Yeah, and we almost have the proving ground up, so we can start working on, um, directly hacking into Advent Soldier's brains. Which will be interesting. Now I guess we start gaining intel. Proving ground. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skulljack whenever you give the word. Cool. So, what does it... What does it do? 
how do or how do I build it? Welcome to the proving grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. Yeah, you're probably right. So there's the skull jack, but we need we need more money. These we can build with one Illyrium core. Hmm. Let's get new ammunition. I want to see what that's about. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Okay, so we can put an engineer there to increase project speed. Yeah, they're ma they're they're doing a good job. I feel of making like the the people that you get seem more valuable. I like that. Because in the old XCOM or an XCOM enemy unknown anyway, you had like a you had like Commander, we've got twenty or thirty engineers forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Twenty or thirty engineers just sort of sitting around, and you didn't really care about them at all. But they do a good job, I feel, of making you of making you have Nothing to. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crum radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Outline territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Did that look like new chrysalids to anyone else? That looked like new chrysalids a lot to me. Oh, we're not ready for new chrysalids. Or who knows, maybe we are. I really hope we are. Do we have any other... Nope, we don't have any other actual people, so let's get, uh... Let's get Deadeye in here. I believe in her. And then I guess we'll take... We're taking everyone who, who actually, like, has abilities. They're all coming with us. Like, we don't even have laser weapons yet. And suddenly there are chrysalids? Yeah, I think I think this is this is the party we're going with. Uh, I wish we had a grenadier. Oh well, let's roll. I'm scared. Hold me in your thoughts. ready to deploy. Uh, please don't be new chrysalids. One of our contacts in the resistance says Advent peacekeepers have been spotted conducting a sweep near an outpost in this area. The aliens won't hesitate to kill anyone they find, so we're heading in to protect as many people as we can. Secure the camp and eliminate all hostile forces. I'm guessing this is a mission type where we can actually, like, use that thing where we can call drop points. 
Because otherwise, getting the civilians back to, like, the landing zone, I imagine, is going to be pretty hard. Alright, let's start Operation Jagged Peak. It'll be a good opportunity to test out the uh, the two branching paths of the specialist, though. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Uh, we don't even have increased squad size. I don't even know how to get increased squad Advent size. Came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. On my way. Darn it. Okay, there's a civilian. There's three civilians. Does getting just right up Head in here location. count as rescuing them? Have Get I rescued you? Oh, sweet, it does count. I don't think it used to count. I think you had to like... It's been a while since I've played the original... I keep wanting to say the original XCOM, but I don't think that's technically true. Moving out. It's been a while since I've played XCOM and again. But I think in the in in that one you had to actually spend an action getting them to run away. Stay I'm on. glad that you don't have to in this one. Oh, damn it. I, I reveal. I made a scarf man angry. Okay. Let's. Double time. Let's put the other specialist in position. Oh, God. That looks a lot more deadly than what we've seen so far. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. I literally could not get there any faster. What about that thing? Uh, I still don't know what that does. I'm guessing it's like hollow targeting from uh, Enemy Unknown. It's okay, I have medkits this time. Okay. So I can do Gremlin Heal. Send your Gremlin out to heal an injured ally, heals up 4 HP with each use. Alright, so first things first, I want you to go and heal her. All right, yeah, get that healing mist on her. I'd rather not lose more people if I can help it. And second, we will take the shot. All right, all right. I like how this is going. Now, what about your combat protocol? How much damage does that do? It does straight up two damage. All right, yeah, do that. So that's nice. It doesn't have like an accuracy roll. It can just get two damage. That's pretty useful. Ah, uh, but then I can't do anything else, which is not as useful. Heading there now. Let's get the civilian safe. You're clear. Go. Uh, this other civilian's right out in the open. Both of these civilians are right out in the open. Okay, I need to turn this camera around. I need to actually look this guy right in his face Confirm. before I shoot him in it. How am I not flanking? The flanking mechanics in this game confuse me sometimes. 
but I'm not letting you get another shot off. See you in hell. Okay. Alright, let's hope there aren't more advent people over here because I'm running them out in the open. Heading to that location. You're good to go. Move. I want to save as many civilians as possible. Advent forces sighted. Alright, there they are. There's one of the creepy skeletons. Oh, and people actually run away when they see them now. That's really useful. No, all the civilians have names now too. That makes it even worse. Ooh, I can get her. I can get her up here. I can get her up to high ground. Let's try for it. I'm on the move. These are some real like shanty town style living situations. Ooh, that's a nice hit chance. All right, I like it. Let's see. Definitely want to kill the sectoid first. That's just that's just common sense, but or actually, do I? I might want to, um... Headed there now. To have the opportunity for Get the Sectoid to, to waste an action bringing this Advent Soldier back to life. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Just cut him down. Boom! Uh, I love how they just sheathe their blades right afterwards. So badass. Oh, we might be able to gun down the sectoid actually before he even gets to do anything. To designated position. Let's see if I can. Oh, nice. Where's that coming from? Height advantage. All right. Actually, I think her aim is just better in general. So that's good. Ooh, and he has loot. Declan, let's run you right over here. Nice, he didn't run through the fire. That's always comforting. Um, sir, 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 sir. Are you okay? We heard about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Okay, I guess I'm the only one who's grossed out. Left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. That's cool, I guess. Oh, and he can move on the first turn that he, he comes out of whatever the hell he just did. Oh my god, he whipped me with his arm. Uh, look at that skin. It's so gross. Oh, and then he called me out, too. What disrespect. Just calling me out like that? Also, that may be one of the grossest things I've ever seen. Rolling. Alright, how's your shot? 72%. That's a really good shot. But I need to deal with him right now. That's super duper gross. God. Oh my god, it's even grosser close up. Shoot him. God, he didn't even flinch. Or he flinched a little, but I wish he'd flinched more. 
Wait, wait. What is that thing called? I thought it... For a second there, I thought it had a name. Yeah, Faceless. Okay. Alright. Okay, good. That's dead. Though that makes these civilian saves real sketchy. Because one of them could just turn into that. I'm doing it anyway, without. It'll work because I'm great. See, I knew it would work. I did it. Yay, me. All right, none of them see me yet. I don't see any other aliens. And they can't do that Xenonauts thing where they fire out of nowhere. Which I'm really glad about because otherwise, uh, Jim Stoic would be dead right now. All right, Jenny Deadeye. Roger that. Is about as far away from the action as she could possibly be. Uh, and I need to get that loot too. That's affirmative. Okay, so Jim Stoic's the only one who can see. Them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Declan over here. Yawn to the loot because I must. Electrum core and advanced repeater. This weapon upgrade when installed, or not Electrum, Illyrium, adds a small chance that any successful shot will instantly kill the target regardless of the target's remaining HP. Uh, yes. Can we put that on right now? Object secure. All right, I guess we do the gremlin heal then because we can't even see the uh, the dudes Go help him out uh, I hope you live Jim stoic. I really hope you live On my way Let's get the civilian out. Move out. So that's... That's enough, right? It is. Darn it, we're only close enough to the sectoid. I wanted us to be closer to something else. I don't want to run up here in case there are more. Let's just... I'm on the move. Let's secure your gem over here. And you have two AP? Alright. Understood. Moving out. Then let's just put you on Overwatch. Got it covered. He's right out in the open, shoot him! Okay, I'm glad to see that still in the game. On. Where you hit them perfectly and then they're just like, nope. You didn't hit us at all. Please don't sit tell me you can revive the shapeshifter. Okay, good. That would have been the worst thing. Oh, there was a civilian over there. No, Paula, no. Don't worry, three remaining civilians. Help is on the way. Affirmative. Moving out. Okay, so we have the Psy Zombie. And then we have, like, nothing. Good copy. Moving on target. So let's... I don't think we can double hit. 
So let's rescue the civilian. Moving. Move out. And then slash this guy. Oh, cleaved him in twixt. And then sheathe your sword as if nothing happened. Enemy down. What a guy. What a man, what a monster. Moving to designated coordinates. 46%? I like those odds. Hostile neutralized. We good? Menace 1 5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Sweet. That could have been so much worse. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That guy, that faceless, was terrifying. Or not terrifying. Disgusting is the word that I would use. <laughs> oh my god, look at Jim Stoic. He's like listening to music in his head right now. He's doing the victory dance. Also, a hundred percent successful shots. Top that. Every shot hit, because we're the best. I hope that, uh, that people got promotions for this. They deserve it. I know Jenny got a promotion. I don't remember if anybody else did. Yeah, everybody's just, like, listening to music in their head right now. Who knows? Maybe that's an implant. The new, the iPod of the future, you just put the music right in your head. Hmm, what's that little, that little glitch there? It was like a backslash. Who knows, maybe, maybe it only showed up on my side. Oh sweet, Jim Stoic got a promotion. So let's see, we can get... A scout or an assault? Blade Master sounds awesome. Deal t plus two extra damage on all sword attacks? That seems awesome. What does Phantom do? When squad is revealed, this, this soldier remains concealed. That sounds incredible, actually. But, I don't know, not for this guy, not really. Like, if, if I had that for a sniper, that would be so good, but I'd rather him just like destroy everything instantaneously with his uh, sword strikes because that sounds super badass. All right, Jim, you're a blade master. Congratulations. Now, what did you become? Okay, you got promoted to a grenadier. <laughs> we did need more of those. And this one can actually be a heavy gunner instead of a uh, more demolitions focused person. And we got a lot of stuff out of this. We got an advanced repeater. We got an Ethereum core. We got a lot of corpses, including... Oh my god. It's somehow grosser every time I see it. Requiring storage in sealed medi medical grade vats. Whatever remains the faceless leave behind dissolve rapidly into a foul smelling paste. Cool. Yep, and that's unlocked. At one time, the Thin Men were the most advanced infiltration units available to the aliens. Now, we face a species capable of mimicking the human form at will. If we, come, if we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we do develop a tool, a tool to deceive them ourselves. Hello, Commander. Okay. So what do we do? Monthly supply rewards increased across Asia. Income increased by plus 15 supplies. Sweet! Terror missions used to do almost nothing for you. Except, like, make it so that you wouldn't lose that area. The resistance in the New Arctic is grateful for your efforts to repel the aliens' retaliatory strike. With XCOM's on ongoing protection, the resistance will continue to flourish. Supplies are used to purchase weapons. Okay, to gain more supplies, sell items at the black market, establish contact with regions around the world to raise irregular income from the resistance. Many missions like Supply Rage and Guerrilla Ops can offer large amounts of supplies as rewards. These missions will appear regularly as you pass the time. 
Eh, we're not that low. It's dark, and we have a uh, supply drop in a day. Metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. I don't think we have anything else that we need to do. No. Oh wait, actually, I do want to check something. I want to go to the armory, and then I want to see a couple things. Okay, so I can put I can put the scope or the repeater on. It. So I can give somebody on the team instant kill chance. Well, I know who that's going to. But what about the, um... No, doesn't seem like a... Where do I equip the... Oh, God damn it! It's, it's what I thought. It only gives you plus one health? God, that was not worth it at all. Oh, well. So before we call this an episode... I will give Jenny Deadeye here the uh, the insta kill repeater. Once this weapon upgrade is applied, it can be replaced but not reused. Um, yes. I don't care. It's thematically relevant to give Deadeye a thing that allows her to insta kill people. All right. That will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you like what you saw. Always appreciated. As well as any names. I may not have mentioned it last episode, but I'm still looking for them. And as you may have seen last episode, I'm not the best with names when I actually have to name them things that make sense. So feel free to hook me up with any logical human names that you have cook that you have around like floating around in that beautiful head of yours thank you for watching and i will see you next time